In this lecture, we want to talk about how you classify data or data values. So we know statistics is about collecting data, and there's different types of data. For example, uh, so how we classify how tall someone is, their height, is different than how we classify their eye color. Okay. So initially, when we look at variables, there are two types of data variables. There's what's called qualitative variables and quantitative variables. So qualitative, qualitative, or sometimes we'll call them categorical variables, allow for classification of individuals based on some attribute or characteristic they have. So for example, an attribute I have is that I have a graduate degree. So I fit into the category of individuals who have a graduate degree. Okay, another one would be I fit into the category of people who have brown hair. Okay, or the category of people who have brown eyes. Next, we have these things called quantitative variables. These provide numerical measures of individuals. So for example, a numerical measure about me, I am 5 feet 10 inches. That's a numerical measure of me. Okay, or um, another numerical measure would be I weigh about 160 pounds. Or another numerical measure of me would be that it takes me about 15 minutes to run a mile these days. Okay, so qualitative is categories you fit into. Quantitative would be numerical measures of individuals. Okay, let me give you some examples of these. Qualitative categories, your eye color, okay, as I said, brown, blue, hazel, green, etc. Those are categories you fit into. Your smoking status, are you a smoker or are you a non smoker? You fit into that category. Attitudes towards the death penalty, you might fit into one of these categories strongly disagree, disagree, neutral, agree, strongly agree. Another category uh, you could fit into um, your gender. Um, or are you a freshman or sophomore? Those are different categories you fit into. Here are examples of quantitative data variables. Okay, numerical measures, measures. Uh, your pulse rate, um, how tall you are, your age, what you get on, on a statistics exam, a size of a bicycle in your in your garage. You know, not all bicycles have the same um, size, so that would be a difference. That's a numerical measure of how large it is. All right, the time it takes you to complete a statistics test or the number of cigarettes you smoked in a day. Those are all numerical measures. So categories, qualitative. Numerical measures, quantitative. For this course, we're going to classify, we're going to leave qualitative variables um, alone. Um, if you're interested, you can read up a little bit more about this. You can classify qualitative variables next by nominal or ordinal. However, we're going to just focus more on quantitative variables for this class. So quantitative variables can next be classified by either what's called discrete or continuous variables. All right, so only quantitative. Quantitative falls into discrete or continuous. All right, so data can be classified, as I said, as discrete or continuous quantitative data. So a discrete variable or discrete data is a quantitative variable that has either a finite number of possible values or countable number of possible values. So what I mean by finite is there's only, you know, five options to it. There's a, there's a small number of options or, um, you know, how many credits are you taking this semester? There is a finite number of credits you can take. All right. Think of discrete. This will help. Discrete tends to be counts of some type. So a continuous variable or continuous data is a quantitative variable that has an infinite number of possible values that are not countable. Okay. Qu continuous tend to be measurements. Okay. Like how tall you are is continuous because there's an infinite number of possible heights people could take on. Um, is it 5.8 feet, 5.81 feet, 5.80001 feet? It's continuous, infinite number of possible values. So discrete tends to be count. Continuous tends to be measurements. Okay, so discrete data. Here are examples of discrete. So these are counts. Number of children in a family. Like for example, I have one child. So my, my discrete data value would be one. Number of children is one. Number of students passing a stats exam. Number of crimes reported to the police. Number of bicycles sold in a day. So generally discrete data are counts. Okay. Another way you can think about this is I know the next possible value. Okay, so if I have one kid and then I have another kid, my next kid would be the second one. Okay, so another way you can think about this is we would not expect to find 2.2 children in a family or 88.5 students passing an exam or 127.2 crimes reported in a day or half a bicycle being sold. Counts, one, two, three, things like that. All right, continuous data. Remember what I said here, generally continuous data come from measurements, your height, 
the time to run 500 meters, the temperature outside, these are all measurements. All right, I encourage you to pause the video and think about these, these eight things here and think if they're classified as discrete or continuous. Okay, I know the answers are also in the slides here, but um, let's just, let me walk through these, okay? Volume of a cereal box, speed of a bicycle, so I'm starting here. Population of a town, length of a crocodile, number of matches in a box, temperature of an oven, number of goals, let's say, in a, in a hockey season, and cups of coffee consumed per day. Okay, these are all variables, are all different data values, okay? Are they counts or are they measurements? So volume, is volume a count or a measurement? It's a measurement, so volume would be continuous. Is speed a count or a measurement? It's a measurement, it would be a continuous data. Population of a town, count or measurement? Well, that's a count, so that would be discrete. Length of a crocodile, that is a measurement. So that is continuous. Number of matches in a box, that's a count, that is discrete. Temperature of an oven, that is a measurement of how hot it is in the oven, that is continuous. Number of goals in a season, okay, in a, in a hockey season, that is a count, that is discrete. And the number of cups of coffee you might have in a day, for me it's always, always more than one, uh, that is a count, so that is discrete. Okay, so just as a quick recap. All right, going back, really important. Data initially starts as qualitative or quantitative. Qualitative is a categorical variable. Quantitative is a numerical measure. Numerical measures can then be broken down as either discrete or continuous. Discrete being count, continuous being measurements.